All right, so let's um, let's, let's play some windows. I've already placed one in there. Um, but the windows, if you go over to the window tool right here in the architecture ribbon, that's what you need to use to place windows. Uh, there are some windows that are already preloaded into your project. Okay, and we'll choose this 30 by 46. And we will zoom in somewhere and we will place it. Now you can kind of look at the window and see kind of the framing uh, material of the window. Um, and we want, let's see, that framing material. See where, it, um, I don't know if you can really tell, um, but this right here would be the proper direction for a window to be placed uh, where the, uh, the main trim is on the outside. Now if I hover over the opposite side of the wall, you see that it reverses. So the trim is now on the inside. Uh, flip it back and now the trim is on the outside. So place it and then you have these arrows which you saw the arrows before i clicked off of it but you also saw a whole bunch of other stuff along with it uh but i you know click out of it and then uh click on the window itself and when i say click out of it i mean hit the escape button to get out of the tool but this arrow will tell you uh which way the window is facing facing um, right now the arrow is on the interior if I do this that means the interior part of the window is on the exterior part of the house kind of opposite from what the walls do if the walls if this comes up with the walls then uh, you know then your walls are backwards um, but uh, this actually marks the interior of the window and just to kind of show you what I'm talking about we can uh, uh, let's see, we could take this, I think. No, we can't. Well, we'll just delete that. Um, so we'll draw. A little sectional view here. And we'll click into it. Now you can see, and, and it's easier to see if I turn color on. Now you can see that the uh, the wooden part of the window is the part that should be outside. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I'm looking at it from the outside right now. Now if I look at it from the inside, so let me go back to TOS, uh, top of slab view, and put another one right there. Go in and look, and uh, some things here that you'll see that are unique for the inside of a window is you've got this this uh, seal ledge, okay? So that also tells you which, you know, that the window is properly positioned. I'm looking at it from the inside, okay? So just make sure you get those pointed in the right direction. Again, those double arrows should be on the inside, opposite of what the uh, the actual walls would be. If you click on the walls, the double arrows should be on the outside to mark that they're in the proper location. Okay, so try not to get all of those confused. I know that, um, you know, the software can be rather confusing, but um, I don't know, they do their best. Um, it's good software though, by the way, very, very good software. Um, so as far as windows, the same thing, if you need a different window than what's already preloaded in your project, you can click on load family. And, um, I'm going to bump up in the hierarchy here because I'm still indoors. And, uh, same with windows. You can't place a door in the window tool, vice versa. But I scroll all the way to the bottom to the windows folder and double click on it. And then I have a selection of all different kinds of windows. There's a lot of selections of windows. Uh, same thing. These can be individually modified. Um, and, uh, of course, again, I rec recommend duplicating them before you do that. And you can also um, download them from other websites. So if I want a, uh, let's say I want this single hung instead of a double hung. All right, uh, same thing. I can scroll through here and choose a size. Let's do this one. It's a pretty tall window. And once it loads, then you can place it. Okay, same thing. Just look for that, you know, hover over the wall 
And typically, if you hover toward the inside of the wall, that means the outside of the window is going to be in the right um, position. If I hover toward the other end of the window, uh, you see how it changes positions again as I hover over different parts of the wall. Of course, then it would be backwards. So let's place it just like that. And now we have a wall that is in the correct position because we see that double arrow right there. Okay, now as far as deeper editing of these walls, you can uh, click on that and uh, that window and then you can go to edit type. Click on this and duplicate it. And then, of course, once you duplicate it, you can change things like exterior trim, interior trim. Uh, and that's all a matter of just clicking and selecting uh, from the options. Um, then, of course, you've got material, which there are tons of options for materials. If you click on that, then, of course, you get a, a whole list of materials. Uh, you know, there's thousands of materials in Revit. Okay, but uh, this is where you could uh, edit all of that stuff. And then, of course, you've got your width, height, rough width, rough height, and everything else involved. Nothing else down here you wouldn't really have to mark with or mess with. Okay. Oops, my screen was blinking off there. Anyway. Uh, that is how you do windows. Um, you know, of course, you can move them back and forth just like you can a door. You know, you can pick a new host for them. Maybe put it over here. That would be a strange place for a window. Uh, it just, you know, popped back over there. But uh, that's how you place and modify windows.